Welcome back to Backs of the Gaming. Today we're going to go over how to view the contents of loot boxes as well as how to view the contents of the possible items that you can get at the end of the dungeon. If this is something you are interested in, then let's burn through it. So first thing we want to do is scroll down to the chest that we have earned. In this case, it would be my Shadow Visions chest. See the square at the bottom that says Options? That is what we will click on, along with View Stats, to see the possible items. From here you can scroll through all the B gear. We have rings, A gear, mount cards, and more. Now what about the loot that we can obtain by opening the big chest that does not require a key at the end of the dungeon. Well, you can go to matchmaking, choose your dungeon, click right on the D-pad to show the rewards, click the button indicated for view stats, and scroll through. There is a lot of C and B gear, but there are Aegir items in some of these layers and dungeons that have an extremely rare chance of obtaining. Now the earlier dungeons and layers do not have any A gear items. For layers, you can get A drops from the keyless chest at the end, starting with the Archon of Fire. For dungeons, it starts with Sundered Sanctuary. However, you can still get A drops from the sealed chest from AOB. It's just that AOB has no chance of A gear drops from the unsealed chest at the end. Abyssals all have a chance of getting the A gear. That's the details that you needed to know about how to view your loot. If you found this video informative, be sure to subscribe to be notified for more helpful videos in the near future. Also feel free to follow me on social media and support the channel with the links in the description below. See you in the next video.